Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what's coming up for you this month in August and this is a prediction reading. And also please bear in mind, bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me what's coming up for Libra this month, August 2021. There will be an end of a delay when it comes to money or travel for some of you, okay? Uh, if you've been thinking about traveling or if you've been thinking a lot of stressing out in regards of money, I feel like um, that part is going to end because we've got the death card here. So looks like there will be a big transformation, big change coming coming in for you guys in August with the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. Again, this could indicate feeling kind of stuck okay if you're stuck at home or that you feel like you want to travel and that you can't travel or for some of you it has something to do with your money or your career if you feel really stuck i feel like this is going to end okay this uh era i would say seems like a long time because the wheel of fortune is in reverse so um, because some good news is coming in with the eight of wands here a shift a change big change i would say um, and I feel like you could have been really stressed out with the Nine of Swords here in regards of everything I do see. It's like everything, the Wheel of Fortune just goes round everything. So if you are, if this is your story, Libra, if you've been really stressing out in regards of money or if you feel like you're stuck, you can't travel, can't go anywhere, looks like that part is going to end, okay? Sometime in August or September, I would say by the end of this year, okay? Although this reading is for August, but time is an illusion in tarot, okay? So in divine timing. So we've got the King of Cups here in reverse. I feel like this may also indicate for some of you if this is your love story. It's somebody whom could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, can also be a uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person is going to try and return, send you a message here. Uh, because they may want to ask for a second chance. Wheel of Fortune can sometimes indicate a second chance or them expressing to you that they still haven't moved on yet completely, okay? And for some of you also, if you've been waiting, if you are in a long-distance relationship, for those of you in a long-distance relationship, I feel like finally you are going to be able to see your person or that you can finally see that things are starting to move, okay? Move forward. The tower is in reverse, so I feel like, hmm, again, if this has something to do with love, someone may be trying to uh, revive this connection, undo the damages that they could have done to this connection, or it could be you, okay? So we've got the seven of wands here in reverse. Hmm. I feel like Spirit's trying to tell you, uh, Libra, some things, there are some things or somebody Spirit's definitely saying to just let go of this person, okay? Don't fight for this person or this connection anymore because it does look like it's a bit of a losing battle here with the seven of ones in reverse and you're not going to be happy because the sun is in reverse. I feel like this has a lot to do with this person from your past. But also generally, Libra, if you're feeling really unhappy, again, a lot of stuck energy here, page of ones in reverse, a lot of delay, that's what I'm getting here. Whether if it if it's in a form of communication, traveling, or money, or your career, I feel like it could be any of these things, but good thing we've got the eight of ones here. So eight of ones to me, it's good news, okay? Good news is coming in. So uh, even though the sun is in reverse here, you may not be able to see it yet, but eventually I feel like you will. It, it just indicates some sort of a change, but a positive change coming in with the eight of ones or positive or good news or positive uh, communication coming in for you guys. All right. Let's see more. Yeah. If 
if it has something to do with money, there will be offer, some sort of an offer, a small little offer, page of pentacles here, maybe from a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, can be any sign or somebody like you are, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I do see a small offer here. Uh, again, page is a messenger, so a good news, I feel, in regards of money or in regards of somebody wanting to give you something here, okay? Could be help as well. Uh, Page sometimes could be a friend as well, okay? So it may indicate a friend offering you help or offering you or giving you some, some sort of an opportunity, okay? A little help, that's what I'm getting here. But this could also indicate somebody sending you a message wanting to start over with you, ask for a second chance. This may also come as an apology with the Page, page of Pentacles here in an upright position. Five of Pentacles in reverse, again, I do see that there will be some improvement when it comes to your finances sometime in August or could be by until by the end of this year, I would say, okay? Queen of Swords is in reverse and we've got the High Priestess here in reverse. Spirit's definitely saying not to ignore your intuition, okay? Because the Queen of Swords in reverse, to me... Um, this may indicate a queen that is holding grudges still, resenting somebody here from the past because of some information that could have been revealed with the High Priestess in reverse. However, um, also at the same time, I don't know why I'm reading this Queen of Swords very differently this time around. With it being in reverse, um, because if it's in upright position, Spirit is definitely saying to, you know, uh, sort of put your guards up. And also, don't forget about the experiences, the past, okay, past experiences, and don't get fooled for the second time, okay? However, with it being reversed, somehow Spirit is saying to soften up a little bit, okay? I don't know where this message is coming from, but it's like, need to soften, soften up a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. It could be in terms of love. It could be in terms of money. Uh, perhaps also don't. Don't, uh, again, uh, another word that I'm hearing here, don't be clouded by a certain judgment here, okay? A judgment call that I'm getting, all right? A decision. Uh, four of Swords in an upright position. We've got the Fool in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so Four of Swords here for me indicates recuperation. Uh, also, it could indicate rest. Spirit's definitely saying that you need to rest, okay? Perhaps overthinking or overworking yourself for some of you. And the Fool here is in reverse, so I'm not surprised to see the Fool in reverse. Again, Spirit's definitely saying that if you have been fooled once, okay, don't get fooled for the second time, okay? I don't know which part of this is applying to any of you here, but something that may have happened in the past where I feel you may have felt like uh, somebody has lied to you or cheated on you, or it could be somebody whom could have scammed you. Whatever the case, it could be. Spirit says not to fall into it for for the second time, all right? Not on one to send up first. For me, again, I do sense a uh, Libra. There is this... Seven of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse, something about giving up. There's some things that I feel, Libra, you're going to be giving up this month because um, you just feel like you no longer can fight for this anymore, right? Um, but we've got the Ace of Cups here, so Spirit's definitely saying to focus on yourself. Self-love and self-care is good for you right now, especially with the Four of Swords here. Your health is also very important. And with the Ace of Cups also, for some of you, may indicate a new beginning in love. If you're single and you're looking for love, there could be a new love coming in for you guys. And this person may come in the form of a page of pentacles. A little bit younger than you are, but very sincere, I would say. Okay, Libra, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a video on the screen right now. This is the video from my second vlog channel. If you are interested, check it out. It's a new video. I just posted it a few days ago and also Libra I'm open for personal reading if you guys would like to be uh, would like to book me for a personal reading my information is in the description box below all right take care Libra bye